Welcome again. This is part two, where I'm attempting to take you through some key words, very powerful words used by me in my organizational resilience, specialist and implementer course. These help us to establish the length, width and depth of this course. It is said that the only constant in the world is change. So we need to have adaptability towards change. Hence, this is part of organizational resilience. The fact that you achieved what you wanted. This means we think of goals and objectives as well. And hence, a successful organization will be a resilient organization. The parameters of success will be different for different organizations and need to be defined specifically. This is a collective term for all approaches to prepare, support, and help individuals, teams, and organizations in making organizational change. This is an integral part of organizational resilience program. While the business will have overall strategies, each management domain will need its own specific strategies. For example, continuity strategies in BCM program. When something has coherence, all its parts fit together well. This is close to alignment that we discussed earlier. Hence the importance of coherence in an organization to be resilient. Easily understood when we think about a person's part in a movie or play. The organization is a movie in all employees and all employees play a role according to their status or level. This simply means working together, which is critical to the success of an organization that aims to be resilient. Our ability to manage risks effectively makes us resilient. This means dedicating yourself to something like person or cause. The cause here is all disciplines of the organization, including organizational resilience. Continued commit commitment of the top management is critical to the success of any program in any organization. The deep meaning of this word is clear from other words that are close to this word, like duty, power, importance, restraint, authority, liability, guilt, burden, obligation, trust, and capacity. Few more to add, honesty, loyalty, stability, ability, culpability, onus, etc. With each role comes a responsibility also. Or every right has a responsibility associated with it. Generally, compliance means adhering to a rule, such as a policy, standard, specification, or law. A regulatory compliance defines the goals companies want to achieve to ensure that they understand and take the necessary steps to comply with policies, relevant laws, and regulations. So, not being compliant will be a block in being resilient. In a resilient community, it is imperative to respect opposite gender, different religion, differing social status, differing ideas, differing cultures, and overall 
environment. Being responsive is more important than being responsible. Conformance is how well something such as a product, service or a system meets a specified standard or requirement. Not meeting the requirements may result in financial or reputational loss and will be a block in being resilient. Nothing comes free in this world. Even organizational resilience will need resources to be deployed. These will include people and money at the least. Being consistent will help in operational efficiency program, which means it helps in being resilient. This may be defined as the ability to recover from or adjust easily to misfortune or change. Hence, I believe that various programs being run in an organization are in line with making it resilient. Some of these programs then come to tips easily are BCM, risk, information security, physical security, ITDR, cybersecurity, fraud prevention, anti-bribery, anti-money laundering, employee satisfaction, client satisfaction, employee engagement, rewards and recognition, supply chain management, operational efficiency, HSC, etc. Situation within which something exists or happens and that can help explain it. For an organization, this situation is known as internal and external context. Or an organization exists within the boundaries of internal and external context. Hence, understanding the same is the first step in achieving or implementing organizational resilience. This is the degree to which something is relevant or useful to what is happening or being talked about. Hence, our actions need to be relevant to our objectives. If being resilient does not take us to our goals, then there is no point in spending time, money and effort on the resilience program. I hope we remember all the programs that put together makes us resilient. These are about 20. This is defined as the organization of different things or people so that they work together. Earlier, we had defined collaboration as working together. So coordination and collaboration are critical to the success of an organization that aims to be resilient. And once again, this coordination and collaboration expands beyond the organization Hence, vendors, suppliers, customers, partners, all come along. Later, we are going to look at the interested parties also. This is where we stop at part two and we'll come back to you again.